Good day to one and all. I'll be presenting a paper based on the output of our students of ELS 111 during the first semester 2020 to 2021. So let me just uh, share some slides so that uh, everybody can see. Okay. So this is the cover of the final output of the English Language Studies 111 or Language of Mandatory Text. So we'll navigate through this. Uh, I am uh, Randy Noblesa from the Institute of Arts and Social Sciences from Marinduque State College in the island province of Marinduque. So this uh, paper is entitled Inclusivity and Social Innovations, Language of Non-Literary Text in In-Depth Reportage Podcasts. So I'll be dividing with the flow of my presentation with the following uh, topics. So I'll be presenting a brief background of language of non-literary text or ELS 111. Likewise, I'll be presenting the transition from AB English to BA English Language Studies or ELS. And I'll be uh, discussing the salient uh, features of the uh, BA English Language Studies from uh, predominantly literature courses to a more uh, investigative and in-depth uh, journalism. And uh, with a particular innovation during the pandemic uh, new normal, so we selected the podcasting as a particular form and as a topic, we choose among the many natural heritage uh, present in the island province of Marinduque. So we'll proceed with our assumptions regarding inclusivity and social innovations. So my background is on Philippine studies. I am majoring in language, media, and culture. This was my undergraduate degree, my master's program, and also my uh, doctorate. So I realized that uh, it used to be more area to local uh, studies uh, focus. But uh, recently with the COVID-19 pandemic, we need to uh, transition to a more island and archipelagic studies so that it would be relevant not only in the Philippines but also uh, globally. So one of our mentors in cultural education, uh, Dr. Uh, Ferdi Lopez said that uh, if this continue uh, with the new normal, so Philippine education system would uh, stagnate. So there's a need for a more transdisciplinary uh, studies. And this is what uh, we're going to apply with uh, BAELS, subject like uh, language of non-literary text. So moving on, what is ELS 111? So it was uh, only the first time that it was offered during the first semester 2020-2021. And incidentally, it's the time of the new normal or the period of COVID-19 pandemic. So it's also the start for many of the higher education institutions with uh, online and remote classes, but uh, there are already institutions like the UP Open University, which uh, online remote uh, classes is the norm. So the norm uh, nowadays, the new normal is blended uh, learning. So this is a live experiment and while uh, it is true that uh, we are now uh, in level one, so we need to transition back to the better normal. So regarding language of non-literary text, so let me just emphasize that uh, among the subject, the uh, core subject and the uh, uh, general education uh, subject, so ELS 111 is among the new courses. And given the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, so it is also given or delivered with a new mode. So that is online and remote. And uh, lest we forget, uh, we are still uh, within the period of the new normal. 
So the transition between uh, AB English to BA English language studies uh, would be characterized by the changes that uh, took place in our school. So we used to be known uh, to be known as SAS or School of Arts and Sciences. So when it started uh, to offer uh, BA English and Communication Arts, it was still in the uh, Santa Cruz campus, which was the Marinduque Community College before. So it was uh, brought down to the main campus in Buak and uh, continued to offer uh, communication arts and BA English. So it was uh, then uh, changed to liberal arts. So to make it more contemporary and to be more relevant to the uh, new uh, basic education program with the K-12. And uh, quite recently, we also transitioned to become an Institute of Arts and Social Sciences. Uh, because uh, Marinduque State College is not uh, the lone uh, state college anymore. Uh, it was divided into four. So we have uh, at least four colleges within the Marinduque State University in the near future. So SAS or SLA uh, before becoming IS. So it's now part of the CAS or College of Education, Arts and Social Sciences. So between AB English and BA English Language Studies, so these are the changes. And uh, we can also surmise from the focus. So during the AB English uh, pre-pandemic period, we have a lot of literature subjects. We have at least five literature subjects. So we have uh, world literature, Philippine literature. And in addition to that, we also have Anglo-American, Afro-Asian and also European uh, literature towards the end of the coursework of the BA English. I think the last batch in 2019 uh, was able to still take these courses. So fast forward to 2020, uh, uh, we had the ECHO seminar with the attendance uh, during the National Conference on Investigative Journalism organized by the Philippine Center of uh, Investigative Journalism, which happened to celebrate their 30th uh, year, their third decade. So since 1989 to 2019, and they were able to organize this uh, activity. So among the activities that I also attended before, are the basic uh, investigative reporting uh, seminar in 2013 when I was still part of the Marinduque Independent uh, Media Center and which uh, was absorbed by the Marinduque Media Practitioners Association Incorporated, uh, which uh, parted ways with the Philippine Science Journalism local chapter in Marinduque. So that paved way for the formation of the Marinduque News Network uh, sometime in 2015. So before that, I was able to become a TCIJ fellow for the Advanced Reportage uh, Seminar in 2014. So come uh, the pandemic, so we have only remote and uh, online classes. So we need to come up with innovative and creative ways. And we uh, partnered with the Marinduque News Network uh, using the local uh, cable and also the live streaming uh, services of the social media along with the Philippine Information Agency. We're able to produce at least two episodes. And this is also a requirement of PCIJ to conduct an echo seminar of the National Conference on Investigative Journalism. So with that, we were able to uh, make some input with the ELS 111 uh, course. And the students were able to come up with at least uh, five uh, separate uh, topics with three uh, episodes uh, each. So Marinduk is known for the Mark Copper uh, tailings uh, spill in 
March 24, 1996. So in 2019, it was uh, just, uh, or 2020, it was just 24 years and counting. So two years after, it's uh, 26 years and still counting. So Mark Upper, since its uh, closure in 1996, so there had been an ongoing uh, litigation in the U.S., because of the changes of ownership and the uh, domicile. So these are the topics of the three episodes. And uh, because of the tailings, so Buak uh, River was uh, declared biologically dead and so as uh, Mugpug River and also the Kalankan Bay. So this is uh, quite a disaster uh, 26 uh, years after. So apart from that, uh, Marinduque is also known as a Lenten capital in the country. So because of the Moriones uh, festival, quote-unquote uh, festival, uh, that is why there are measures taken so that it would uh, go back to the original uh, sense of being a Lenten uh, rite. So Morionan is the original practice. So there are many manifestations of the practice. So one is self-flagellation, which is pagaan tipo, which is uh, more masculine. And the topic of the group is regarding the uh, pagsusunong ng pupuwa. Pupuwa is the plant or the leaves, which the female uh, who is taking part of their sacrifice during Holy Week. So they carry on with this uh, sacrifice using uh, pupuwa leaves. So the other group uh, focus on the caving system. So Marindu has a lot of cave, the Celadon jar that is uh, declared the national uh, uh, cultural property in the National Museum was found in a cave. And uh, there are other cave system which is uh, featuring the underground river. So not uh, Palawan but in Marinduque. So there's also a karst uh, limestone uh, uh, cave in, in Tarug, in Mugpug. And uh, if you happen to visit uh, Marinduque, you'll be uh, able to experience this uh, intangible cultural heritage. But instead of focusing on the ICH, the students focus on the uh, natural uh, heritage, the flora and the fauna. So in Marinduque, there's such a song, dance, and music number, but this is no ordinary song, dance, uh, music number, but it's a healing ritual, especially in the times of pandemic. And also, if you are a visitor, a guest, or a tourist, so this is a welcome gesture. So second uh, to the last is uh, the topic on the materials on uh, Kalutan music. So this is uh, found in the town of Gasan. So known for their folk song and folk music. Uh, this is part of the cluster of heritage uh, uh, towns in Mugpog, in Gasan, and also in Buak because Gasan is considered to be the cultural nerve center of Marinduque. So uh, before I end this uh, presentation, let me just uh, go back to the to the main uh, topic of this uh, paper regarding uh, social innovations and inclusivity. So despite the time of the pandemic, so even uh, we are in a small island and there are only six towns. So with the challenges with the internet uh, connectivity, still we're able to put up a number of episodes of this podcast with relevant topics about the uh, natural heritage of uh, the province of Marinduque. So that is uh, social innovation and also inclusivity. So on that note, I'd like to end the, the presentation and I welcome any comments or suggestions regarding this topic. So thank you uh, for your kind attention.